Hi again. Today I'm going to talk about breathing, but I'm going to talk about why is it that we take breathing for granted. There's been a lot of talk. You've seen me blog on it. I'm created, starting to create videos on it. There's a lot of talk about breathing in the media. And a lot of people wonder why, because we breathe, we're alive, no problem, right? Unfortunately, that's not the case. Most people take their breathing for granted because it's the, the effects of breathing dysfunctionally or not breathing well are not obvious. And so, for example, the average person breathes twice as often as we should and with far too much volume. The symptoms that we get from over breathing, which is in, at too much volume and too often, are not obvious. We, can't, we don't always make the direct correlation between the fact that I'm over breathing and the symptom. But some of these symptoms might be asthma. They might be um, constriction and spasm in our gut. So in situations like irritable bowel syndrome is often, or gut symptoms are often worse when we're stressed or we're anxious, which and often when we're stressed and we're anxious, we hyperventilate. It might be poor circulation to our brain. So in headaches and migraines, poor peripheral circulation, there's a whole range of, of implications from over-breathing. Now, the reason we take it for granted is similar to what may have been the case for any of those who are old enough to, be, to remember that many, many years ago, we didn't always make the association between poor nutrition and poor health many years ago, unless it was extreme. For example, if I came on, as one of the earlier settlers on a boat to Australia and we didn't have any citrus, or any vitamin C, we might have got scurvy. Now that's an extreme case, but most people ate their standard food and they didn't necessarily make the association between poor nutrition and a range of conditions. Now the research in the last 30, 40 years has been very, very strong and we all, all know now the importance of nutrition. Well, as much as nutrition, breathing is a factor or something that we do more often, than, more often than any other function in our body except for our heart beating, and it can influence your health as much as your nutrition. It's just that, as I said before, it's just not obvious. What's starting to happen now, though, is with more and more research coming out about breathing, we're starting to realize the importance. And there may come a time, hopefully sooner than later, whereby we all understand that it's vitally, vitally important to breathe functionally, and that the differences it can make in your health, in your performance, in your level of, level of relaxation, in your sleep is absolutely vast. It can make a massive difference. So once we start addressing that, we'll see some huge benefits. I've certainly seen massive benefits from using breathing as a modality in clinic with clients with a range of the conditions I mentioned before and more. So um, hopefully that is the, the future and we won't take breathing for granted anymore.